last video for 5.3. In this last video, we're going to talk about solving for inverse equations. But it still hinges on that idea from the very first video that for inverses, you flip the x's and y's. That's what an inverse is. You flip the x's and the y's. So if I look at this first problem right here, problem two, I have an equation. If I want to find the inverse of it, then just like we talked about, you need to flip the x's and the y's. So that's what I'm going to do. Flip the y's and the x's. Now, Normally, we don't write equations as x equals. That's kind of weird. We usually write equations as y equals. So what we're going to do now is solve for y. So I have 2y plus 8. I need to solve this for y. So we need to think, am I going to get rid of the 2 or the 8 first to solve for y or get y by itself? A good rule of thumb for solving equations is you start farthest away and work closer. Another way you can think about it is you learned PEMDAS back in junior high, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. When you're solving an equation, you're going to do PEMDAS backwards. So add and subtract will actually be gotten rid of first. So that means I'm actually going to get rid of this addition of the 8 first. To get rid of it, we do the opposite. So I'm going to minus 8 to get rid of it. So now I have x minus 8 on this side and 2y left on that side. So I need to solve for y. All that's left is that 2. It's being multiplied to the y. You know that because they're right next to each other. Anytime things are right next to each other, they're being multiplied. So to get rid of it, I'm going to divide. So now I have y equals all by itself like I wanted, x minus 8 divided by 2. And that is our inverse equation. That's it. So let's turn to the next page and try number 3. Once again, first step, flip the x's and the y's. And now I need to solve for y. Remember, work farthest away and then get closer. So this 4 is very farthest away. So I'm going to get rid of it first by subtracting it because it's a positive 4. So I have x minus 4 equals negative 3y. And a lot of students at this point might try to add 3. But that 3 isn't subtracting. That negative 3 and the y are right next to each other, so they're multiplying. It's negative 3 times y. So since they're multiplying to get rid of it, I divide. So now I've got y by itself, which is what I wanted, equals x minus 4 divided by negative 3. And there we go. Let's try one last example of this equation stuff. Now, I also wanted to do one thing on this real quick. I'm going to change this y to an f of x because this is how it looks on your homework, and I want you to be ready for this. If it's an f, f, and x, f of x instead of a y, then your first step is to change that f of x into a y because now I can flip my x's and y's. So if you see that f of x, just change it into a y first and then you're good to go. Okay, now let's solve for y. Remember, go farthest away and work closer or you can think PEMDAS backwards. So if I think that, then I know I need to get rid of this 5 first because it's adding. So I'm going to subtract 5 to get rid of it. So I have x minus 5 equals 1 minus 2y squared. Okay. Next thing, thinking PEMDAS backwards, is I need to get rid of the exponent and then take care of what's inside the parentheses. 
Now, if I want to get rid of an exponent, I need to do the opposite of it. So in this case, the opposite of squaring is square root. And just so you know, that works for other numbers too. If I have x cubed, the opposite of x cubed is a cube root. If I have x to the fourth, the opposite of x to the fourth is a fourth root. And those will make them cancel. You can also go the other way. Let's say I have a cube root that I want to get rid of. Well, then I can cube it and it gets rid of it. I could even do that with crazy numbers like the ninth root of x. If I want to get rid of that, do it to the ninth power and it gets rid of it. So that might help you on your homework as you work on your homework problems. Back to number four, we have a square root and a square that cancels, but what I do to one side, I have to do to the other, so I'm gonna square root that side as well. So now I have a one minus two y equals square root of x minus five. Okay, we still haven't solved for y. So I'm gonna look over here on the left-hand side. I still need to solve this for y. So next we think, what do I get rid of next? Remember, PEMDAS backwards or farther away, work closer. That one is the farthest away from the y that I want to. So I'm going to get rid of that one first. It's a positive one. So I'm going to subtract one to get rid of it. Now, when you do it on the other side, be careful that this subtraction one is outside of your root, not inside. So I have negative two y equals square root of x minus five, and then minus one on the outside. Now, one last step to solve for y. Just like the last one, I'm not gonna add two because that negative two is right next to the y, so it's multiplying. So I'm gonna divide by negative two to get rid of it. So I have y equals square root of x minus five, minus one on the outside, all divided by negative two. And there we go. That's our answer, that's it. So you should now be able to get started on your homework. If you turn to the next page, I'll show you what, or sorry, skip this page. We're not gonna do story problems. That's more of an honors thing. Find this page, and these are your homework problems. You need to do question one, which is finding the inverse. So you're gonna change this g of x to a y. Flip the x's and the y's, and then solve for y. You will also do number six, same sort of thing, and number eight, same sort of thing. So one, six, and eight, and then if you turn to the next page, you also need to do number 11, which is like the second video that we did, where you're gonna make your table, pick some numbers for x, plug them into this equation to get answers, and then you're gonna flip your table around and then graph both of them on the same plane. So, that is your paper homework. You also have a Canvas homework that you need to do, and you'll have the rest of class to work on those. Get to work!